Right, uh, gyda rownd gynderfynol y gemau ail gyfle rhwng Cymru ac Awstria am le yng Nghwpan y Byd, just rownd y gornel, fi sydd wedi cael y dasg hynod o ddiflas o ddod mas fan hyn i Vienna i wneud bach o waith cartref ar ein gwrthwynebwyr. Well, Mark Yanko, sadly we're having to do this over Zoom instead of face to face, but you're looking forward to the, the big game? Yeah, I'm looking uh, very forward to the game. It's, uh, it's a big clash um, with, with two strong nations, I think, and we can expect a very intensive and interesting game. I think it's going to be a close game. It's a big chance for Austria to maybe to reach the, the World Cup again after several years, but the Welsh team is good, so it's going to be hard for us. From the media's point of view, you know, what are the vibes here in Austria? Are you looking forward to the game? I think you'd probably be a bit underwhelmed in terms of looking at the build-up here. If you flick through the sports pages, there's probably less to do with Austria-Wales or Wales-Austria than you might expect, actually. We've just come off the back of the Winter Olympics. The ski season here is, and always will be, a bit of a bigger deal, really, than the football. As we get to the last like day or two before the game, it, it will change a little bit. When the draw came out, the first reaction was overwhelmingly positive here. People were saying, yes, good draw. And that was no disrespect to Wales. That's nothing to do with Scotland or, or Ukraine. It was more to do with, we all knew that Italy and Portugal were in that pot. On the first glance, everyone was happy, but then uh, everyone was thinking about the opponent. And obviously, Wales is a very strong opponent with uh, fantastic players, uh, world-class players in, it, in its side. So the joy about the, about the choice uh, was not very high, let's say like that. Scotland, Ukraine, Wales, Austria, Austria, all four of those sides will know that that is a winnable draw and, and a draw where everybody's got a great chance. So in a sense that puts the pressure on, but um, yeah, I think Austria do see it as a, a winnable tie essentially. What's the feeling around the Austrian team at the moment? Because you've had some ups and downs recently, haven't you? Yeah, you're, you're right. It's indifferent because we, we played a very good Nations League a very bad qualification. We had the luck for the for the win in the Nations League that we got to this uh, to this playoff. At the moment, it's, people are struggling to get behind this Austria team. The World Cup qualifying campaign and uh, the previous campaign, they've done little to get the fans on board. Really, I mean, if you look at the last World Cup qualifier here for Austria, 1,800 fans. The one before that, 4,300. These are tiny, tiny numbers for a, a quite proud footballing nation. After the Euros, which we played fantastic and very well and, and great football, um, the, the whole nation is, is quite disappointed at the moment how the team is playing. And playing style, the, the attractiveness of football is, is, can be better, let's say, like that. I was reading, fans aren't particularly happy at the moment with Austria's performances. The reason for that is something to do with Franco Foda, the coach, uh, the German coach, statistically one of the most successful Austria coaches of all time, although that's a quirk and nobody would say that he's their favourite Austria coach of all time. These days Austria have some, some attacking talents, they've got exciting attacking players and Franco Foda is a defender by trade, he gets the team playing in a defensive style, it doesn't excite you, it's not great football, uh, easy on the eye. One of the commentators described them as, uh, as if Franco Foda has a Ferrari, but he's uh, driving it like a tractor. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not been the most uh, attacking, interesting football to watch over the last two years. Two of your key players, David Alaba and Lautovic, how, how important are they to this Austrian team? They are quite important as personalities. And Lautovic is a... Um, He's one of, of the guys who can, who can make the difference and, and, and do surprisingly things like I think Gareth Bale or, or other players in Europe, big players. A big problem for Austria has always been how do you get the best out of David Alaba? He's fundamentally always been much better at his club team than in the national colours. And if, if his Real Madrid form is anything to go by, perhaps that could be something. You know, if, if Bale and Ramsey are not able to turn up and bring their full strength, and yet David Alaba is, mm. that really could be something that decides the, the difference in, in what should be probably quite a tight game, you'd imagine. You know, the game's being played in Cardiff. Do you think that could work against Austria because it's going to be an incredible atmosphere? Yeah, no, it's, it's great. I love the atmosphere in, 
in in football stadium in, in, in on the isle on the British island. It's going to be an advantage for, for, for Wales, also a big pressure and we will see how, how the both teams can cope with it. It's difficult to, to judge it from outside uh, on which level the guys can play at the moment because, like I said, the support from the fans is not 100% there from the, from the nation, so they are facing a difficult time. Um, they, they, they know that they can do better in, in, in a lot of ways. But this can also be very dangerous for Wales because you don't know which kind of uh, opponent you're facing. Um, and it's like a, a, a boxer who got a knock. Uh, these are oftentimes the, the most dangerous ones. So uh, it will be a good game, I think. I think it will be difficult for Austria. The way they're going into this campaign, I would mark Wales out as the favourites in the tie, especially with the home advantage. Uh, the excitement that Wales are feeling about this game is, is really in contrast to how Austria are, are viewing it. And I think that could make the difference. There is the talent in the Austria side to, to upset this Wales team and to win this game, definitely. But a lot of things would need to click and would need to come together in a way that we haven't seen it happen too often for Austria in the last two years. Felly dyna'r teimladau maes fy'n hyn yn Awstria cyn y gêm fawr. A os i fi mae'n cyrraedd cyrdydd yn rhywun y gic gyntaf, wel, wyll i fi ddechrau ffyndon ffordd i gytra. Um, Cardiff, please drive.